Swing trading means holding a stock for a few days up to a few weeks. And you can see that usually it's a few days to a few weeks where you get these swings in stocks. For example, this is Home Depot. A few weeks ago they announced, I think they guided lower on their uh, financial outlook and their sales. So the stock took an initial hit. And if you were watching carefully, you could have sold short right about there. If you caught it a little bit later in the day, you might have been able to sell it short right there. Now, if you sold it short up here, you would just have to have wait one, two, three days to make $10 a share. If you caught it down here when you sold it short, you would have made about six or seven dollars a share if you had uh, covered your position around there somewhere. Okay. And that's a uh, trade that would have lasted one, two, three to four days. If you see it start to coming up here, it could have been the the open on the fifth day where you decided to get out. Where you could have made a, a quick profit. And that's exactly what we're trying to do in swing trading. Make a quick profit, get out. Now, if you had decided to hold on a little longer, well, you, sometimes you could make more money and sometimes it just goes back up. So you're taking a risk by holding it longer than that. Um, but it did end up to a low down at 210. So you could have made about $20 a share in about two to three weeks time. Okay, now I wanna show you how volume works as you swing trade. Now you have to remember that over 90% of the money that's traded on the exchanges are professional money. Almost everybody gives their money to somebody else to invest for them, like a mutual fund manager or um, a hedge fund or something like that. And so professionals move the markets, okay? Let's take a look at this. You have millions of shares of stock that's traded every day in Home Depot. So when I buy or sell 100 shares or even 1,000 shares, it's not going to move the stock. But when a hedge fund comes in and buys, you know, half a million shares or something like that, that will move the stock. Okay, so think about it. Let's say that you are a hedge fund manager. You own millions of shares of Home Depot up here, and then it goes down. What are you going to do? Well, what you're probably doing is quickly doing your research to determine the value of Home Depot based on the news that they released. And so people, uh, companies quickly do that. They make their decisions and a lot of them clearly have decided that they need to lessen their risk. And so they sold off some of their, their Home Depot. And you can see that it only took a few days for it to, to go down. Now, here's what I want to show you here. That's the volume right there. The volume bars on the bottom. Normal volume is uh, down here, a couple million shares a day, typically. But then on this day, obviously, that's many times normal volume as the sellers uh, uh, sell off lots of their shares. You see that that continues and the price goes down. Uh, the sellers uh, are selling less and less as the price goes down because they're less interested in selling at that price. <clears throat> now look at this. On these two uh, days right here, two, three days, the stock goes up and you've also got uh, an increase in volume. Part of that is covering, the short covering. The people who sold short up here to make money as stocks go down, well, they're covering and that gives you this little bounce. And so uh, a lot of uh, people or companies are making uh, money and cashing in their profits right there. And that's really when you get the, the moment of, well, what happens next? Is it gonna go down further or is it gonna go back up? Now, here's what I wanna show you though. As the stock price goes down, okay, we still get uh, the volume here uh, but the stock price is still going down and we're starting to get some sort of an equilibrium and the stock's slowing down as it goes down. Now on here, look at that. That's an interesting day right there because you've got 
a red candle, the stock uh, went down a little bit in price, but you've got a green uh, heavier than normal volume day. So when you see that, you see normally you see a big candle price with a matching big volume bar. But if you don't see that, you see a small candle with a great big volume, that often means uh, a reversal. In other words, even though it looks like it's going down, obviously it's not because there's heavy volume supporting it there. That's showing you the buyers are starting to jump back in. Did you understand that? Even though the red candle, it went down a little bit that day after the open, obviously there's a lot of buying support there to hold up the stock. Otherwise it would be going way down and it didn't do that. So that's how you know it's probably a good time to buy. Uh, I would have waited for confirmation and probably bought the next day if I was gonna buy at that point. Okay. So that's what I wanted to show you. You gotta watch for these uh, these little indicators. And I've got uh, Bollinger Bands, what what's showing in the back here. So let's now look at another stock that was Home Depot. This is FedEx. So what happened with FedEx? I'll show you how I traded this. FedEx came out with bad news uh, about a week ago. And of course, it gapped way down. I sold it short right about the middle of the candle on that day. Okay. So it was about, I think about 148, 149, something like that. I sold it short thinking that it was going to follow through to the downside. Well, I held it short, even though it went there, there. Finally, on this day, I realized the buying pressure is stronger than the selling pressure. Uh, people are not willing to sell at this price. So that means, essentially, they're buying the dips. Okay, when, when a stock drops down and fails to go down further, it means uh, buyers are jumping in. So I reversed my, I got out of my short, reversed and, and bought here. So I bought around 150.25. I had lost a little bit on my short, and already I've uh, made back what I had lost, and I'm about a little bit over break even at the moment. I'm expecting that uh, FedEx is going to go up from here because I'm not seeing a lot of selling pressure beyond the initial day. So that's a great sign because normally if there was a huge amount of pressure to sell and get out at this price, it would have bounced up a little bit and then quickly gone back down. Here it's been a week and it still hasn't done that. So I don't think it's going to go down from here. I think it's going to go up, which is why I went long and bought uh, shares on this. So if you watch uh, the volume and you watch price in connection with it, you can kind of see where the pressure is between the buyers and sellers. Who's winning the battle? All right. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, I do give lessons, uh, and I'm happy to help people learn how to trade. That's what I do. I train people how to trade. Uh, I train individuals and groups, and you can be anywhere in the world. I train over the Internet, over Zoom. So you can see my screen just like I'm uh, doing here. What I love about swing trading is you can go about your day and still trade. You can work or go to school. You don't have to watch the market every second of the day. You can just glance at it from time to time. So if you want to learn how to trade, uh, send me an email. I'm at tradergregk at gmail.com. My email address is below in the description. Have a great day, and I hope that helps.